Hi, I'm Nick, I'm the Head Chef Lecturer here at Rick Stein's Cookery School in Padstow and today I'm going to show you how to fillet a round fish. So our round fish in question is a sea bass, um, but what's true of most round fish is true of all of them. Uh, the rib cages differ slightly, uh, but the technique is exactly the same. Uh, I've got three implements to, to help me today. I've got uh, a nice bendy filleting knife, which is essential, and, and also you've got some scissors, a good pair of kitchen scissors to take off some sharp spines, and then we've got some pin boners for taking out uh, the pin bones of the uh, fillets at the end. Uh, right, so, on a round fish you have got two fillets. You've got one on either side, uh, and we're going to take those off individually, um, but before we do that, to make it easier, and especially if you're not used to doing, doing filleting, this can really help. We're going to remove the head and we're going to move these nasty little spines here just to make it a little bit safer. Okay, so using your kitchen scissors, always work from the tail of the fish up and just take off those spines there. Um, and then underneath, um, next to the gut cavity, there's a nasty little spine there as well. So we're going to take that little fin off as well. It's a little bit tougher, that one. Um, and then we're going to remove the head. Okay, so behind the pectoral fin here, we're just going to angle it up behind there, and just cut down to the bone, and then same on the other side, like so, and then just carefully just going to twist the, the head off, but be careful, don't really damage the fish, okay, fish is really delicate, so just gently grip it, and then we're just going to be like wringing out a towel, and just like that, and just pull the head off, okay, and get rid of that, and then we're going to be ready to fill it. Right, so um, the technique for doing a round fish is you always start from the dorsal line, okay? So from the top of the fish and work your way down. So one side we're going to start from the neck and work down like that. And then on the other side we're going to start at the tail and go that way, okay? So um, I'm going to start with the tail first. That's the way I like to do it. Many people do it. You can do it either way, head or tail. I just prefer to start from the tail. Uh, so just make a little cut through the skin like that. And we want to keep as close as we can to this dorsal line here, um, but staying above it. Just get the knife in there and just pull it all the way up, get through those, like that. And just now, just using the tip of the knife, a bit arts and crafty, and just release it from the fillet. From this, and then turn the knife over and work out through the bottom, like so. Okay. The hardest bit of doing um, a round fish is the rib cage. So what we can do is cheat and just go, go through those ribs. So we're going to have the knife just totally flat, not angled down, not angled up. And we're just going to just run it through like that and take it all off. If you do this technique, you then need to take the rib cage out. Okay, so we're just going to line up that rib cage there and scoop it out like so. Okay, and we'll pin bone it all when we get the other fillet off as well. That's one fillet done. And now this is why we take the head off, okay? Because if you leave the head on, you're going to have a bit of a curve to it, okay? So by taking the head off, it just makes it easier to fill it. Okay, so again, now we're going to start from the dorsal line from the top. So you're going to start from the head this end. You're going to run the knife in and pull it down all the way down the fish, like so. And then again, now it's a bit more arts and craftsy. And just run the fish along the bone, like so, okay? And then this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the rib cage. It's a little bit more um, involved, a little bit more difficult, but it's what we'll do in the kitchens, okay? So just run the knife over the top of the ribs and take it out like so, and there we have it, okay? So if we get rid of that, we've got our two fillets here. And then running from the sort of the neck end here, just down the middle, you've got pin bones. Uh, depending on the fish, you have a different number of pin bones. It tends to be the oilier the fish, the more pin bones. Uh, but you've got about six or seven in a bass. We're just going to grab onto them and pull them out towards the head. Okay, so just locate them with your finger and just pull them out. Okay. A good pair of tweezers is really good, uh, essential for this, um, but it's a bit of an investment if you don't do it regularly but well worth getting yourself a pair if you fancy doing this. So that's one fillet, oh, almost missed one there. Take that one out, and then the same on the second fillet. Let's pull that down and out. So always pull it towards where the head was, 
because that's the direction that they're going in and that's when they come out a bit easier. If you pull it towards the tail, you'll either rip the flesh or you'll break the bone. Okay, so either way, it's not ideal. And that's those all gone. So finally, just trim up the fillets to make them look presentable. Same on this one. And there we have it, two round fillets of fish.